Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Dutton Lanson Strong Arm Electric Winch with Remote and Pulley Block. This 120 volt AC powered winch is Canadian Standards Association and OSHA certified and this is going to work anywhere AC power is available with this 10 foot long three wire grounded power cord. It has a, this winch has a load capacity of 2,700 pounds and a double line capacity of 4,000 pounds. And that rating is based on a 10 foot pull. This electric winch is going to be perfect for indoor or fixed applications. I do want to point out that all Dutton Lanson strong arm electric winches are built for multi-purpose hauling and pulling operations. However, they are not to be used as hoists for lifting, supporting or transporting people, or for handling loads over areas where people could be present. This winch has a dynamic motor brake and a mechanical friction brake. The dynamic brake helps bring the load to an immediate halt without coasting and the mechanical brake locks the reel to hold the load. The spring-loaded clutch lever allows you to release the load without power, providing smooth load control from locked, the locked position as I have it now, or the free wheel position as it is right now. And as you will notice, this will automatically return to the locked position when released, just like that. And of course, that freewheel option is going to allow the cable to be removed by hand. I want to give you an overhead view of this real quick so you can see a better view. Uh, this lever, as you can see, is now in the engaged position and I'm unable to pull the cable out. But then switching that to the freewheel position, I'm able now to pull that from the spool freely and then when that springs back into place, then that uh, cable is going to be held and uh, secure. It's not going to be able to be pulled out. I do also want to plug this in uh, to my outlet here in my studio and go back to a close view here and just give you a brief operation uh, showing you how this works and kind of letting you hear how loud this is as well. So since I have some of this pulled out already, I'm going to uh, put this in the in position as it is right now and then uh, engage the run switch as you can see that pulls that right back into place and then putting that switching that to the out position and this really isn't too loud I'm in an enclosed space here and even inside of my studio it's uh, not too bad so then I'm going to switch this back that in. So it runs really well and it's going to uh, be very convenient to have this uh, built-in handheld remote. It has a 10-foot cord and again this is going to allow ease of operation, loading and unloading and runoff functions. This winch has a gear ratio of 570 to 1 and in regards to the load speed with no load and a full reel, it's going to be 9 feet per minute. And with a full load and a full reel, 4 feet per minute. Now this does have a flexible, high strength, 7 strand by 19 gauge galvanized aircraft cable. And a pulley block and snap hooks are included for double line pulling. This cable is 50 feet long, making it great for double line operation and the safety snap hook is going to keep the load securely attached. And the wire cable, by the way, can be swapped out for a two inch wide strap if you so desire. The cable dimensions is 7 seconds of an inch in diameter. And again, this uh, is 50 foot long. And as you no doubt know, double line pulling is achieved by taking this hook, what I call the, the main hook, and hooking it somewhere close to the winch and then you will pull with this pulley block and snap hook. And that's how you obtain that greater pulling rate of 4,000 pounds. An emergency crank handle does come standard with this winch so that you can use this in the event of a power failure. And just to show you here, moving this out of the way, 
there's a cap right here that you will pull out and that's where you can um, insert the um, crank handle if uh, you are in need of it. The heat treated gears are going to give you a smoother, quieter ride and greater strength. The precision needle bearings in high load areas create low friction and promote longer life. And let me give you a view of the bottom here real quick. This has a die formed base that's adapted for quick mounting applications. Now on, the, on, on this product page, the base hole pattern measurements and diagrams can be found. So if you are in need of those measurements, you can find that with a diagram on this product page. Now this is made here in the USA. The high impact weather resistant case is going to give you excellent protection for those internal components while at the same time being safer than open reel models. The brushed stainless steel front plate is going to give you superior rust resistance. And the current draw is seven amps at 120 volts. And electric winches should be used intermittently. The maximum continuous run time for this winch is four minutes. Now I took some measurements of this winch before our time together. Looking at the overall length, we are sitting right at about 11 inches long. The overall width, including our clutch lever, we're sitting right at about nine inches wide. And then the overall height here in the back, at the tallest point here, we are sitting right at about eight inches tall. Instructions are included with this to walk you through a little more in depth uh, the features that this winch offers. And that is going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.